So guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Funny old thing, a new location. Um, new location for a video anyway. I came here the other day with two friends of mine, Lutz and Peter, who know this place and we had a good look round. And it's a fantastic park again. And um, lots of species here. Um, we saw American goldfinches, robins, uh, kingfisher, a few birds of prey, lots of other smaller species, juncos, cardinals. It's a really, really good spot. So coming here today for a bit longer, we only spent kind of 45 minutes here and uh, I saw the kingfisher loads on a very um, well-used perch. It was on there three times, but it was quite skittish as they generally are. So come back today for a bit more time, spend three, four hours here, and hopefully we'll get lucky with some species. It's a cold day, it's about minus two today. And uh, yeah, we're gonna look around, see what's about. Hopefully we'll get lucky. So I've just come to the spot where I saw the belted kingfisher three times. And I don't know if you can see there, but there's a, a dead branch just over the water there, just down into like a pool. Not most attractive pool, I must say but I saw it um, three times. But it's slightly iced over today, so that's not necessarily a great sign. Um, but hopefully, you know, there's, looks like there is a slight break in it and it's not too thick. So hopefully that kingfisher can then get through there. I'm um, gonna have a wander around. Usually you can hear the kingfisher. The call is um, quite a, a well-known call. I'll play it for you above. So quite a rattly call there. Um, so hopefully we'll get to hear it, pin it down and uh, maybe get lucky, get some shots. I've got a um, smaller outfit with me as well as the, the bigger stuff in the back um, in case I want to get set up somewhere um, and hopefully, uh, yeah, get some other species. We did see some wood duck, which I've never seen before. And I saw the male and female together. My God, that's one good looking duck. Absolutely fantastic. But they're notoriously skittish as well. And I got a few little shots of them, but they were kind of shooting down on top. So not really ideal. Um, hopefully if I get set up, just sit as I always do, be patient and wait. And hopefully we may get lucky. Looking at this spot here, it's pretty perfect. A um, lot of dead wood on the far side there. Looks like as that river's come absolutely smashing through um, in kind of autumn, winter, when the, obviously the water levels rise, there's a lot of stuff deposited over that side. They do get beaver here as well, so that would be great. Apparently they're quite, um, quite numerous here. You do see them when the, the snow obviously is here and the ice is here, and they make punch holes up through and they come up through the, the holes. Um, so yeah, bit of habitat over there, possibly. Um, but yeah, good little spot really. Great for the kingfisher as well, good place for it to perch. And because the water's running a bit harder here, the ice doesn't get a chance to form. Obviously over slow pools it does because obviously it's quite um, still and it's not causing any movement there to break the ice up. But this looks like a really, really good spot, maybe for wood duck and stuff. I'm gonna have a little scoot around the park, have a look, see what's about and um, yeah, Hopefully we will get lucky, but it's a cold old day today and I've not seen a bird yet. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. So we've got some American goldfinch, we've got some northern cardinals, and uh, also got some dark-eyed juncos just around this corner feeding, hoping to uh, get around and get a few shots. So 
it's just started to snow just a tiny tiny bit not like too much but just a few flakes in the air i've just walked through the midpoint of the park here and i've just seen this i mean man talk about habitat destruction unbelievable sways and sways and sways of like trees oh man it's terrible to see it oh look at this man this is just terrible look at that talk about destroying a habitat the size of canada is and toronto is the biggest city rather than build guess further out they're whacking up condos everywhere and they've just completely stripped this land look at these trees it's absolutely horrendous i was told by one of my friends that this was this land was left um, by a very wealthy person that the land would never be destroyed and just kept nice for nature they always seem to get around it don't they you know building i have to build i understand that but my god look at all that habitat that's been destroyed look at that that's just horrendous all those homes for bird species for mammals for insects everything just destroyed yeah man sad to see jeez but stand in the way of progress can you Man, it's really upsetting, really, to see it. Yeah, sad, man. Well, guys, it's quite thin on the ground at the moment. Um, just seen a female mallard. Um, don't think it approves of the uh, habitat destruction there either. Um, so I've just done a bit of a loop. Just going to have a wander back. Sun's just come out, which is great. Might encourage a few species to venture out. Um, this is a good area as well for coyote, um, fox, lots of other mammal species, mink, as I said the beaver before. Um, it's just kind of basically mooch up and down this stretch and I'm really hoping you, know, you get to see some stuff, you know, it's not always the way. Um, weather has a, a big part to play in it and luck, I guess. So just keep at it, keep the eyes open. Oh, I've seen a cardinal, it's just up in the tree. So guys, an absolute treat for you here. Um, I've just spotted a sleeping screech owl, I think, up in a hole in an old tree. How on earth I could spot that, I do not know. Um, it just looks like a dead bit of old wood. It's sleeping away. I'm on just off the path here looking up and it's up there sleeping away amazing this is the first ever owl i've seen um a foreign owl so i've seen the long-eared owls granted but they're an, they're a resident bird in the uk so we've got our birds in the uk the owl species we've seen but i've never actually seen a species like that before absolutely fantastic tiny tiny little owl i know nothing about them i'm guessing they're probably Diurnal, nocturnal, crepuscular birds, I don't know. A bit of research when I get back. And that's one thing I love so much about photography is that you find a new species, you go home, you get in the books, you get on the line, have a look, and you learn more about it. But yeah, just play a bit of video for you now, guys. It's not doing an awful lot, as owls generally don't do. But the fact I've seen it in its little home up there in that tree, wind's coming this way, it's lovely. But the light coming in on the owl, absolutely fantastic so i'm gonna go quiet now spend a little bit of time with it not kick the arse out of it and stay too long pack up quietly and then just leave and leave it as it is it's not distressed it's not even opened its eyes the path literally is just here so yeah not causing any disturbance but i'm gonna go quiet for a bit now have a brew and just enjoy this little bird look at that amazing
fantastic guys to see a new species of owl. Um, it really is. You'd never, ever spot that. It's so well camouflaged. And I said, I'm not going to spend too long here. This is kind of a busy park, although it's fairly quiet today. And what I don't want to do, I'm sat here just off a path, big lens, tripod. People come past and go, what are you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at an owl up there. Oh my God. Word of mouth gets around. People come in, start hounding the bird. It ends up flying, you know, it's just not ideal. But uh, so I'm having a good look around constantly to make sure there's no one coming this way. I kind of can see 180 degrees. And if I see anybody peel off in this direction, I'll make sure I, uh, I move and get out of the way. Um, it's not to draw attention to the, to the bird. Um, I don't know how common these are here. I think it's a screech owl. Um, yeah, magnificent. Eyes are well and truly shut. One of them's just slightly open, probably just keeping a beady one on me. And I'm not going to go any closer now. I've got five, six, 560 reach on there, and that's more than enough. It's quite dark on there as well, so I've, I've upped the exposure compensation to a stop and a half, if not two stops, just to pick out some of that dark detail in there, because it's tough, it's just quite, just a little bit into the back of the hole. It's not quite moved fully out because it's quite chilly today. So yeah, amazing though, amazing. Made my day. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear. I've got a red-tailed hawk behind me, call me. And they'll certainly have a go at a, uh, an owl of this size. Another thing to be aware of, birds like jays are pretty clever. If you're near a nest site, certainly in the spring, Sometimes a jay can see what you're looking at, then they come down and investigate, and that's it. They end up absolutely ransacking the nest of eggs and young. So it's just another thing to be aware of, just used to your surroundings for people, as well as obviously other bird species that are rather switched on. That hawk's gone a bit quiet now. As I said in my last um, video, or the last video before of the long ears, um, you know, owls are my thing. And I'm so, so glad I came out today, had a good scout around, nice and quiet, just going around, having a look for species. It is quite quiet. And then we stumbled across a beautiful screech owl nestled up in his hole, having a snooze, lovely. So I stayed there for 20 minutes, took a few stills, varying settings, did a bit of video and just left it as I found it. Um, didn't even open its eyes. I think its left eye was slightly open just to keep an eye. No distress to the bird at all. People walk on that path all the time. And yeah, just left it be now, attracted no, no, no attention to it. Um, so, you know, hopefully that owl will then just stay nice and still and uh, left well and truly alone. But um, gonna move on now and see if I can find myself a kingfisher. I'm going to go back over to the bridge and see if that kingfisher is going to make an appearance. Hopefully it will all be on well. Well guys, that's been quite a successful morning so far. Um, you know, to see that um, screech owl was fantastic it's worth just coming here just for that um, you know but it's just trying to scout out a new location spend a bit more time here it's gone real cold today there's not a lot of bird life around I've seen northern cardinal I've seen some chickadees uh, I've seen some goldfinches some juncos mallard the owl seen the hawk red-tailed hawk so a few species there it's not absolutely you know overloaded with uh, bird life and uh, certainly the mammal life. I haven't seen a heron. I haven't seen the kingfisher as yet. I got a few shots of the kingfisher the other day, but they were pretty crap, to be honest. They were through the trees and they were at distance. But I'm hoping maybe because that sun's come out, things warm up a little bit, might get some luck, hopefully um, with a kingfisher. 
I'm going to set up on the bridge in a minute and uh, hopefully get lucky. But the trouble is the tripod's quite big and the bridge is quite small and it's for bikers and people transiting through. So I might see if I can tuck myself up somewhere quiet. But uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good. It's got a lovely little pocket of juncos in here and uh, there's a downy woodpecker, a jay, northern cardinals, all just in this little bit. There's loads of old um, dead seed heads and they're all feeding on those. Um, so it's quite nice to sit, relax. They've, a few of them have um, flushed a little bit from my presence. Just sit, stay patient and they all come back again. And they're all now just feeding in front of me quite happily. So um, really quite nice. Hopefully we'll get that woodpecker to come back in and hopefully we get some decent images of that. It's just making its way up the tree trunk at the moment, doing a bit of foraging. Um, I think it's a female, no red at the back of the head, a bit like our great spotted woodpecker at home. Um, yeah, really enjoyable just to find these little pockets once again of, of life. You get areas that are just devoid of anything and then suddenly you get a burst of birds come in, feeding frenzy, kind of follow each other around and then boom and then just they move on to the next spot. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll um, get some decent shots here. And maybe, maybe we'll get to see um, a wood duck maybe coming along the river here. That would be great. I literally got some horrendous shots the other day shooting down on it and uh, I didn't get any video or anything, but they are magnificent looking birds. Absolutely lovely. Right back to it. Just found this new area, which is um, quite off the beaten track. It doesn't look like many people come in here. Very quiet, which is nice. Just feel like you're being watched by an owl or something in here. Yeah, there's definitely mammals in here. I see a path going straight into the reeds. Look at that for sign. And there's quite a few coyotes here apparently. And uh, I've seen deer slots as well um, this morning. So there's obviously definitely mammal species around. Last thing I want to do though is go traipsing in there, as you can see. It's pretty deep and to be honest, there's probably wildlife laying up in there, resting throughout the day. So I'm not going to go in there and scare them away. So, but yeah, it's a nice bit in here. Imagine this to be a perfect location for some owls. I imagine I've walked past a few owls already that are just watching me in their sleep, having a little one eye open, looking down going, yeah, there's that photographer and he hasn't got a clue I'm here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a nice little spot. Loads of berry bushes as well. Still got a lot of berries on. But uh, yeah, right, gonna head back, see if we have one more go at that kingfisher. Well guys, it's been great to spend the morning and a bit of the afternoon in a new location having a look around it is real quiet today apart from the things i've already seen which has been great you know the highlight obviously for me has been that screech owl which is amazing just to see it got a couple images there but you know they're uh, an owl sitting in a tree but you know it's beautiful to see a new species 
and it's such a lovely bird. Looking forward to doing a bit of research on that one. Um, but yeah, it's going to have a, another hour scout round. See if I can pick anything else up. Check a few of the fir trees out. See if any roosting in there. Um, have a look along the river as well to see if there's any other bird species. Didn't actually see any wood duck today, which is a bit of a shame. Just a few mallard. In fact, there's two mallard just over from where I'm talking now. Um, hopefully, I might be able to get to see those wood duck because they are beautiful, especially that male. So if I can just sit along the river, have a wait, see what happens, and then, uh, yeah, head back home. But it's freezing cold today. I know those Canadians who follow me on YouTube are thinking, I haven't got a clue. Yeah, well, I pretty much haven't, but I'm still... My extremities, my fingers are still pretty cold. Um, so uh, yeah, I've got a lot more uh, vlogs to come, I expect, in the thick of uh, winter, where I'll be absolutely freezing, but I'll certainly be dressed to uh, keep warm when it gets to that point. But uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys, for uh, coming along today. Really, really enjoyed it again. It's good to try somewhere new, and you know, you don't always get results um, and some amazing pictures, but it's just the fact that getting out in nature, enjoying yourself, getting some fresh air in there, sit, just take it all in, lovely, can't beat it. Best medicine there is, is uh, wildlife, getting out in nature, don't have to have a camera, just use a pair of bins, you know, or just get out and just sit and watch, you know, it's amazing. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, I'll see you next time. <music>